What is up everyone today, we'll be taking a look at XL Floet in the Evolution Cup. Floet is a decent core breaker in this format because of its fairy typing and access to Vine Whip, Psychic and Dazzling Gleam. It does alright in many common meta matchups such as Vigoroth, Dragons and Celio, but because of its slow pacing it also isn't amazing. Overall very interesting pick though, so we're just gonna head into these battles. These were sent to me by my friend Guido, so thank you very much. He's running a team of Shadow Golbat, Floet and Dragonair. First game he leads Golbat into Charger Bug, which is quite bad. Golbat definitely doesn't like taking these electric moves. He's gonna opt to stay in for a little bit though. Go for the Poison Fang and probably dip out afterwards into Floet maybe. No, he's actually staying in. Oh, tries to catch a move on Dragonair. I do like that. And the opponent actually ends up throwing. Interesting. This is a crunch. We'll do a decent chunk. No drop, luckily. And a Vigoroth comes out. Not the worst for Dragonair. Hido going for the body slam right here to do some chip damage. Opponent actually deciding to shoot this up. Yeah, healthy Vigoroth is a good Vigoroth, honestly. In this meta, using all your shields on Vigoroth is generally gonna be a pretty okay play since it has a lot of play versus basically everything Ahito bringing in the gold bat here double resisting these counters but these bullet slams will definitely add up so putting up the shield right here keeping gold bat healthy gonna go for the poison fang i don't think this knocks out which means the Vigoroth will get to another body slam yeah oh barry doesn't knock, knock out that's very unfortunate gonna yeah, let this go. Otherwise, your charge buck can just discharge you, which is not ideal. You get out of this matchup with a poison fang, which is not bad. It will do a good chunk of damage for your charge buck if they do decide to let it go. They do decide to let it go. Bring in the Floet. In comes a Machoke, and this is a really good matchup for Floor uh, for Floet. Seeing as the Machoke is not purified, meaning it only has access to fighting moves. So uh Floet just resists everything. Opponent knows it's concedes the match. GG's. Next game, Giro's Golbat is met by a Dragonair. This is a pretty even matchup, but the longer it goes on, the better it becomes for a Golbat, as it will be able to debuff the opponent's defense with these Poison Fangs, of course. On their own, they're not a threatening, though, so the opponent decides to let the first one go. Then throw the Body Slam, which Giro actually decides to catch on his Dragonair, not wanting to take uh, it on its Golbat, probably. And lures out a Dusclops. This is a pretty awkward poke we want to deal with for the whole team, as it's has coverage for both the flying type Golbat and the dragon type uh, Dragonair with the Ice Punch and then Floet isn't amazing for us either. Ice Punch coming out right here, Hiro decides to shoot it up which is interesting as the Dusclops will be able to get another move right here. It's four hexes and then three hexes for Ice Punch. So first Dragonair is actually going to outpace you to two moves uh, since you need four hexes or 12 Dragon Breaths uh, for each, uh, each Aqua Tail. Uh, but this is still fine. You get to uh, an Aqua Tail here, get the Discops low, and this will help the rest of your team deal with it. But you are two shields down right now, which isn't ideal. Uh, however, you will be able to farm now with Golbat to get some nice energy ready for whatever is going to come in next. And that is quite nice, I guess. Maybe the combination of Golbat and Flowbat can still take out whatever is in the back. Got a Poison Fang, uh, the Dragonair here. This would knock it out, but the opponent shields it up. Gonna get to a move right here. Which will knock out the goal, but and now it's all up to Floet. Can Floet deal with whatever's in the back? It is a Vigoroth. And well, you'd think that this is a pretty good matchup because, well, you resist counters, but Bully Slam does a lot. So, especially shields down, you're not gonna win this. But let's see how close Floet can get. Hido gonna go for a psychic here. Honestly, if you get like a defense drop and they shield this, maybe it's doable. But yeah, no defense drop, another body slam coming out already. We'll put the Floet deep into the red. Are you going to get to a move? Oh, man. Oh, wow. Wow. You actually almost reached that Dazzling Gleam. And that would have certainly knocked out. But CMP tied with the body slam. So Floet gets taken out. GG's. Go bad into Klops. Not ideal. But if you can manage to bait properly here and hit the Shadow Ball, uh, this is a pretty good matchup for Golbat. Ice Punch, of course, is hitting for super effective, but it's not a strong move, especially coming from a Dust Club. So it does like 50%, which is quite a bit, but not enough to where the Dust Club can farm you down. So it's super fine. Gonna go for the Poison Fang. Get shielded. That's huge. Now probably gonna be able to fire the Shadow Ball into the Dust Club, hopefully. Not before we have to shield up an Ice Punch, though. And yeah, I have to throw pretty soon. Wow, gonna double bait. I love this play. Super risky. But usually after one bait, they don't expect another. So they shield it up. Very good play by Giro there. Gonna shield up this move, I would assume. Oh, gonna let it go. I like that. Keeping shields for the Dragonair. Since 
Uh, the Disc Clubs is uh, like the buff right there. The Dragon Rats will do a lot of damage. Fortunately, the opponent switches out though, which is not ideal. Uh, but it's into a Vigoroth, so Dragonair is still fine here. He does gonna Body Slam uh, to chip the, the Vigoroth. At this point, it seems like he's just letting Dragonair go down. Gonna take this Body Slam. Is he able to get to another one himself? He is on the CMP tie. Amazing timing by Hido. Gonna be able to knock out the Vigoroth. And now, let's see if Floet can finish whatever is left. Hido's gonna stay in for a little bit to check what comes out, I think. Not gonna instant switch. In comes Asilio. And you're running Vine Whip, so you're doing super effective with these fast moves, but it is just Vine Whip. They're not doing that much. Actually, the Powder Snows are almost doing as much. Uh, Hido gonna shoot up his Body Slam. Probably the hardest hitting move at this point, since Dusclops is very weak. Dusclops comes out right now, by the way. Ooh, Hido over farming a bit too much, maybe. Gets hit by an Ice Punch, which puts you into a range where a Body Slam plus Powder Snows from the CDO might knock you out. This is gonna be super close. Gonna Psychic here. Will the Dazzling Gleam knock out the CDO? Oh my goodness, it's a CMP tie, is this enough to knock out the seal? If not, this is going to be real difficult, it doesn't knock it out. This body slam will definitely knock out Floet, right? Then there's still a Dragonair in the, in the back, oh it's Aurora Beam, yeah that definitely knocks out Floet. Dragonair comes out, farms it down though, GG's. Next up, Hido picks up a decent lead with the Vigoroth into his goal, but out comes a Dragonair, Hido brings in the fairy type Floet to hard counter Dragonair. Well, not really, sadly. Floet, especially when shields are up, just isn't that great uh, versus the dragons. Uh, you will be able to get some shields here, since even if they no shield a psychic, it's going to do a ton of damage to opponent shields. But if the opponent really wants to, they can double shield and farm this Floet all the way down. I'm going to throw a move here. Hiro really wants to get to another psychic, or Blessing Beam sure shields this up. Smartly. Now goes for another psychic. I think if the opponent shields this, Hiro is in real trouble. And they do. So this is not looking too good. The Dragonair will be able to farm all the way down. And well, even though you have a shield advantage, this Dragonair is now so loaded that if Hiro wants to save his own Dragonair, he's going to have to use his final shield. As you can see here. So not too great, but maybe Golbat can still do it. A very common third with Vigoroth Dragonair is Dusclops. And in that case, you might be able to win as a Shadow Ball uh, barely almost KOs it. And then you can like double Poison Fang Vigoroth, but unfortunately ends up being Zwilus in the back, so this is not looking too good. I think the way Hiro should have probably played this, uh, any Dragon switching basically, if you're expecting double Dragon, is Poison Fang the Dragonair, and then go into your own. Because then you have Floet in the back when shields are down, and Floet really needs shields down in order to actually counter what it's supposed to counter, as you just saw. Uh, but yeah, putting it in against Dragonair when shields are up didn't end up being uh, the best play, sadly, as it's just going to be taken out by this Vigoroth right now. G. G. Chansey lead is definitely not ideal for Hido, so he switches out into the Dragonair here. Also not a great matchup, but because the Chansey is so slow, Dragon Breath plus Body Slam spam will definitely add up. Whenever you're up against a Chansey, what you really want to do is farm up to like 100 energy before you start throwing moves. I would like to see Hido do more of that, but he's still making sure he's throwing at two Body Slams every single time. So if the opponent does decide to switch out at some point, he's going to have at least one charge move ready for whatever comes in and that makes it real awkward uh, for the opponent to switch out at any point here which they do end up doing eventually into this Vigoroth but Hido already has a fast move loaded or charge move loaded uh, so this is not too great for the Vigoroth he's actually going to be able to get to another one before he's like in killing range for a body slam the opponent is over farming could have thrown a body slam before it but it wouldn't have knocked out so there was no point uh, Hido was able to get to another body slam before that and Doing a bunch of damage with Dragon Breath as well. Opponent now two shields down. Does have switch with Hiro shield up. It's quite fine. Brings in the Golbat right now. Gonna go for the Poison Fang straight away. Vigoroth gets up a move before that though. This was a weird point because I thought it was CMP. But it wasn't and he also didn't get a move through. And because of that, this Poison Fang is not gonna knock out. And the Vigoroth gets another Body Slam. So this definitely should not have happened. This Vigoroth... Never should have been able to get to another body slam, but fine. This point, all up to Floet. Let's see if Floet can do it. Out comes a Dusclops right now, I believe, right? Yep, it is Dusclops. It's a very common team, Chansey, with a Faint Attack Dusclops. Because Faint Attack Dusclops is the best possible answer to Vigoroth. Uh, much better than a Hex Dusclops, but 
Paint attack is very bad for Froet because it is, of course, resisted damage. Potent is gonna throw a move of Disrupts before switching into, out into Chansey, trying to catch some moves. Desin Gleam still does a decent amount of uh, damage, though. Do this Chansey. Chansey gonna get to a move right now. Probably gonna shield this up. Might as well. They're just gonna go for the Psychic, probably, and farm down this Chansey. Yeah, they're shooting Knockout, but it's just super fine. You might even undercharge this, honestly, just to get as much farm as possible, but kind of risky. So just fully charge it. Fire Whips die now. As a Desin Gleam loaded for the Disclops. Will this be enough? Probably not, but this just is also kind of slow because of faint attack. So you might even be able to get to another psychic before they get to a move. Do you? Yeah, you do. Actually, the, oh, no, not on the CMB tie. They actually got a faint attack through right there. The psychic knocks out the dust clops and that is a good game to finish off the video overall i'm not too impressed by Floet. it's like a decent core breaker but it just doesn't do good enough even in matchups it should win in like the dragons so definitely a fun pick but i wouldn't really recommend you build one anyway thank you very much to Hido for sending in these battles they were very fun to watch so appreciate that thanks everyone for watching see you in the next one good luck with your battle streamers